Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and replace these three wires uh, up into this connector here. And, uh, and we'll be ready to go on the radio again once I get there. Okay, so I'm ready to put the first uh, wire into here. I've got to pull the other one out first. Let's see, I've got all kinds of camera angles on this. Fiddling around with some new, new camera shots here. Don't need that. Okay, so let's pull out the old one. fit in there. It may not even fit. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. You know, I'm going to, to take some of these strands away here. insulation off that either. These little bits of the insulation from the last wire still stuck in the hole there. something up there. Hmm. Huh. Come on. Even this? get that sentence finished. Okay, now the wire's coming all the way up, but it's not quite reaching the tip, and I really wanted to bump into the tip here. So I didn't cut this back far enough. Okay, soldering iron. Okay, 
a little bit of wire came through the tip. One done. Two more to go. Now, what I did up here, I just had to solder this onto here, onto the old wire. So that's no big deal. These ones here, I'm going to cut and attach the new wire here. I'm not going to go inside this. There's, there's really no advantage to it from my experience. It's So let me get these two wires uh, connected here. And uh, again, I'll do that part off camera. Okay, I'll just solder up these leads here. The original wires are still quite flexible up in here. In, inside here they're very flexible so there goes my bad focusing camera again and it has a mind of its own Okay, so this will be just a little bit noisy while this is running. Takes a little while to heat up. Oh, it's just so out of focus. Enough for that. Okay, my thing has gone into a cool down phase, so it's going to be a little noisy for a moment. And then it shuts off. Okay. Green one next.
out, old one out. seeing how far it should go. It's not going all the way, so there's some solder blocking it inside, but that's okay. It'll give way when I heat it up enough. There it goes. where the red wire is going to go. Not much holding that in. Okay, same deal. It's a little short. It's a little fat, short and fat. Right to the end. Perfect. It's coming through a little bit. Good. Hopefully some of that solder will go up. Follow the strands up into the connection. exposed wire up here but not enough to worry about a short. And, uh, these look pretty good just the way they are. Don't want too much wire sticking out the top but leaving it there is going to be just fine. Great. There we go. Is 
that. So now with this ready to go back in the radio, we can try the whole radio again. Let's do that. Let's do the whole shebang. Yes, off camera, you missed me try to extract a tube without turning the radio off uh, by mistake and uh, shoved the screwdriver underneath the tube base to pry it up. And that's when I discovered the radio is still on. So, too bad I didn't get that on video. It would have given you a chuckle. Okay, I'll uh, plug this guy in. Over here. Right here, with a uh, you uh, put a screwdriver in to tune a trimmer capacitor in there. Okay, so the BEMA scope is connected properly. Nice new wires, all lovely flexible stuff. Let me say we turn on this radio here. Let's see what happens to it. Okay, everything is good to go. Yes, and no connection into the signal generator. So we'll let that warm up. Get some tools out of here. While it's doing that. There it is. Jeez. Oh, this radio likes to jump into life. Jump to life. Okay, let's give. On a 19 meter band. Let's go to the A band, which is the broadcast band. Exciting there. We'll hook up an outdoor antenna again. I still have this radio running on restricted power, but. Okay. Picked up some static. much else. Okay, this time of day, it's uh, before lunch, so we will go, let's try, let's, let's try, well let's try the 19 meter band, so that's 15 megahertz across here, 15 to 15.3 or something like that. And that I think is my signal generator. No, it isn't. What is that? That's not too good. Oh, just something being received, I think.
what's happening? I'm just suddenly getting so much louder. Could have been this. Oh, the radio just really picked up suddenly. And by the way, I've seen no evidence that the... Oh! It's all noisy again. Hmm. Just this. There's something wrong right inside this tube, maybe? I don't know. That's it's definitely something up in here. It's making a little bit of scary poppy sound. I don't know if you can hear the, the little tiny ticky clicks that are coming in with those pops. I don't like that sound too much. See if it'll pick up the uh, signal generator. And I have the generator cord just basically laying on top of the uh, antenna here. Not really doing any kind of connection, it's just laying there on top. So we're down close to 15. Ah, 15.4. I think that might be a uh, image. Maybe not. Wow, 15.4 is way off. to run out and look at the uh, radio to be sure but I'm, I think it's about 15 here and 15.3 out here and we're getting 15.4 there 455 is the IF it's all a little suspicious to me what's going on there let's uh, and what kind of signal I'm putting out a hefty signal but it's not actually connected to the radio it's just it's just laying here let's connect it cut it way back I've got these wires sealed up enough. Connect it here. Okay, and I connect the other side of the ground out the signal generator here. So I think the low impedance of the signal generator has uh, basically uh, knocked the front end silent. Seems to come in slowly and then drop. Okay, so the signal I'm feeding into the radio right now is pretty strong. It's going to be in the range of a thousand microvolts.
Well, you know what? Um, either I'm going to try to align the front end, or I'm going to start changing out capacitors in the front end, those little, those little guys. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'm going to study the schematic for a while, try to figure out which which of those capacitors might be worthwhile changing, the ones that could quiet the radio significantly, and then we'll go after a few of them and, and see if we can uh, pick up the signal strength here. Plus, what about this? What about that? What about that? Let's just take a look at that for a second. Since the eye is not working, rectifier tube. I don't want to touch it. There we go. So if this comes apart, my hand's going to go like that. And since the radio is mounted very precariously, I stand a good chance of the tube is warm. So the tube is getting warm. 6U5, that's the right tube. Well, we'll have to put this in the tube tester and check it out. Well, yeah, it's a very dirty, dirty tube. So I think we're going to leave everything just like this for now. Next time I come back, I'll test that tube, and then uh, then we're going to have to make a decision about what to do to this thing next, whether I should try and align it, see if that brings it back to life, or look at replacing a lot of those black uh, molded capacitors. Okay, hey, thanks for watching. Bit by bit, it's getting better.